Hello everyone. This is part 87 of our playlist, Holistic Python. So this is a training course. This is what a training course. In this training course, we are learning theory, theory in depth, as well as we are learning programming, programming in depth. All right. And from today onwards, from today, from this video onwards, we are going to learn about network programming. We are learning about network programming. Okay, so as I said, this is a training course, so we will not skip the topics. So now we will start from this video onwards, which module we are going to start? Network programming, network programming, or we can say socket programming or socket module. Okay, so before starting this, you should have a basic knowledge about Python. All right, so here we will learn about how to communicate, how, how we will understand like how server can communicate with client and how client uh, communicate with server we will see server side programs we will see client side program as well so st stay tuned in this lecture all right and if you are not consistent here so please try to be consistent from this video onwards right because we are going to start network program okay so see here python is a general purpose programming language python is what a general purpose programming language this language is used to develop different types of applications. So this application is used to develop different types of applications like programming, network programming applications or mobile applications or desktop application like that we can create using Python. Python is what general purpose programming language, application or software. Python language allow developing networking application or networking enabled application. Networking applications or network networking enabled applications we can create using Python. What is networking? What is the mean of networking? Networking is nothing but logical or physical link between two or more devices. A link between two or more devices is known as networking. Okay. Advantage of networking is sharing resources. What is the advantage of Networking means connecting the device, uh, connecting two devices or more than two devices in a network, physically or logical. So, what is the benefit? Advantage is resource sharing. Okay, these resources can be hardware or and software. These resources can be hardware and software. Basics of networking. What is IP address? Okay, what is IP address? In networking, every system or device is defined. Okay, system or device is identified with unique number called IP address. Okay, in the network, for example, there are lots of devices on the network. If you want to find a particular device on the network, so what should you know? You should know the IP address of a particular system. For example, we have this device one, device two, and device three. So it has it has unique IP address. Each device on the network we have different IP address. Okay, so this is connected with either physical link or logical link on the internet, right? So what is the IP address? Internet protocol, which is used to identify your device on the network uniquely. Understood? So what is the host name? Host name is wrapper of IP address. Host name is what? Host name is the wrapper of IP address. Means, for example, you have some mobile number. So what is the wrapper? Wrapper here, wrapper here, name. Okay, what is the wrapper here? Name. So you don't most of the time you don't remember the mobile number, but you remember the name. So whatever contact number saved in your phone, phone you always save with name. Okay. So because remembering name is easy, then remembering this 10 digit number. So what is the host name? So we can say this name is a host name. For this IP address or for this mobile number, host name is a wrapper of IP address. Okay, so for example, this is IP address, and we can give name it like facebook.com or we can say google.com. So this is a host name wrapper. Okay, so for example, see this one this is one device, and this is an IP address, and this is a host name IP address and host name IP address and Host name. So, 
host name is a wrapper of IP address. Host address IP host name is a wrapper of IP address. Right. Now see what is protocol. What is protocol? A protocol defines set of rules and regulation for exchanging or communicating communication between two programs, client and server. HTTP means hypertext transfer protocols. So these are some protocols used in different purposes. SMTP simple mail transfer protocol, FTP file transfer protocol, TCP transmission control protocol, UDP user datagram protocol. Okay, so what is the protocol? Protocol defines sets of rules for exchanging information between two programs, client and server. Okay, this you can consider client and this consider you can consider server, client and server. So what is protocol? Protocol defines set of rules like how client and server will communicate to each other. So they will have to follow some specific rules in order to con communicate in on the network. Okay, they have to follow some rules. Okay, so what is port number? Server program is identifier with unique number called port number. Okay, server programs. For example, you have this server program like Oracle server you have, MySQL server you have. In a in what is this? This is the IP address of this particular server system and this is the client program suppose this is the client program okay and this is the server and which server which server client is requesting which server for which server client is requesting okay so client also give the port number because each server have different port number so it will contain ip address and port number okay ip address like which system on the network and inside the one system which particular service you want like i want this oracle server so we have different port number for oracle server we have different port number for mysql server so you can identify the device using ip address and server in a in, in a particular machine or a computer we can have more than one server like oracle server and mysql server so how you will identify uniquely these servers with the help of port numbers Client will also mention port number while giving the IP address. Right. Now, what is socket? What is socket? Socket is an implementation of client and server program. So, what is the socket? Socket contain implementation of which program? Client and server program. Socket is an endpoint communication between two programs. So, socket is what? Endpoint communication between two programs, client and server. So suppose this is our client program and this is our server program. This is what client socket and this one is server socket. Okay, so socket module provides socket object or class for developing client and server program. Right? So socket provide what object or class for developing class client and server program. Okay. So we whenever we will create Whenever we create any networking application using Python, we will import which module? Socket module we will import. Right? We don't need to install the socket module because it comes with Python software. Okay? We don't need to additionally install this particular software. It comes with Python software. Networking program can be like connection oriented and connection less. If we talk about connection oriented means TCP. Connect connection less means UDP. TCP is transmission control protocol and UTP is user datagram protocol. Okay, so we will discuss more in the next lecture. What is this TCP and UDP? Okay, so stay tuned everyone and thanks for giving your valuable time. Okay, so stay tuned because we are learning network network programming and after that we will learn the trading also, multi-trading and few topics for remaining. After that, we will start Django, like we will start backend. We will start any backend, or we can say we will we can start also front end. Okay. So once we complete this lectures, we will start backend. Okay. So thank you everyone once again and do not forget your smile as well. Right.
and keep practice everyone keep practice each day okay? practice will improve yourself right okay thank you everyone once again